How is up y'all with Pablo's Cricket It's D. So about to react to this situation someone just informed me of. Apparently Armand Wiggins has critiqued Nicki Minaj's new song and as a result she has dragged him. <laughs> so apparently they know each other. I, I don't know what's happening chat but we about to get into it and see what's happening. Also speaking of I just reacted to Nicki Minaj's new song on my Patreon. It's up right now. Link down below if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about the song. Uh, but yeah, let's hear what Armand has to say and what, what Nikki says in response. Let's watch. All right, let's pop it, everybody. So this is the it's first video, Armand, and then we'll and we're watch back with another second. video. Get in After. here, get in here. It's time to get into some things, okay? Yeah, he has an See? intro. Okay. Um, all girls are the same. Insecure 2. Nicki Minaj, Juice World. Collaboration has came out, okay? Um, it came out last night or this morning at midnight, and it's getting mixed reviews. So a lot of the girls are like, you got one fan base, on one side of the fan base, they're like, they really, really love the record. They love anything that Nicki puts out. And then you have a lot of us, and I call those the emo barbs. I call those the alternative barbs. I call those, you know, the sad barbs, the pill popping barbs. What? Um, spike necklace. The Silver jewelry, bars is crazy. skull ring, you know, black eyeliner, black nails. Those are those barbs. You know, oh, the like bad barbs, the bad barbs, the, the, the fab girls. They're not really feeling it so much, okay? Um, but here's the thing. Let's talk about the song itself. Nice song. Her and Juice World had a great relationship. Um, oh, he said There's right. really honestly nothing wrong with the song. The song is a pretty, like, it's pretty, but it's, like, sad. It's a little, you know, it's, like, about getting drunk and fucked up and just being insecure and all these different issues. I mean, but the melody is nice. Um, it's cool. The beat is good. Nikki did her thing on it, but it wasn't anything exciting. Even when you got to the verse, I feel like, respectfully, we've heard this flow before. Which is fine, but I'm just saying Nikki's big on flow changes, people having the same flow. We've kind of I feel like I've heard this flow before. I can't actually put my finger on it, but I know I know that flow. It, it feels like a kind of a rush to coddle flow. I mentioned what flow um, is. In however, my that really wasn't even a problem. The problem for me is the verse was so short. I think it was over before. I could finish fighting. Like, for real, honest with you. What? I'm going to be honest with you. I think, because I, I tried to stay up, but then once I heard the instrumental and the snippet, I was like, okay, girl, I'm going to bed because I know this is going to be one of those melodic, singing, whatever records. So I'm not, I'll get to this tomorrow. And so in the middle of my sleep, I think I went to the bathroom and then I was kind of laying down and I and I had to get, I had to poop, okay? And I, I had rolled over to to fart and by the and while I was this listening to the record I rolled over I had to fart and by the time I had finished breaking wind the verse was over All right. so I don't even think that you could have kept that CL lasted the... as long as the air in my ass right. and that was a problem for me because before I could finish breaking whatever wind was left the verse was over and I'm like damn that was a fast verse I'm not even done farting Sheesh. And then we got into the singing. So then for me, I was just like, okay. You well, could have kept mean, that, sir. Listen, I know that a lot of people don't, are not necessarily like, oh, it has to be, you know, rapidly rap Nikki, dissing Nikki, up tempo beat Nikki, banger club banger Nikki. Some people like pills and potion Nikki. Some people like um, right through you. Or uh, some people like pink birthday Nikki. Some people like pastor Nikki. You know, some people like emo Nikki. I like yikes Nikki. I like we go up Nikki. I like Bigfoot Nikki. I like, you know, and I like Fab Nikki. I like, I like, and so, and I'm entitled to that. But my thing is what people start to say is like, Nikki doesn't have to, Nikki doesn't have to always rap or always be sitting whacked and going in on people. Yeah, you're right. She does not have to always diss or throw shade or whack or whatever but how long are we going to keep saying that we're always saying that more than we're not like she doesn't always have to sing either just she doesn't always have to go into like this melodic bag either 
Like, it's been more of that alternative bag and that pop bag and that singing bag than it actually has been the hip-hop banger, whacking, mixtape, freestyle, any of that bag. So you guys keep saying that, but she ain't been giving that over here. She's been doing a whole lot more of this. All we saying over here is, girl, can we get a little bit of something over here for the for the for the function? You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's what that's what the majority of us I feel grown to love her for, and that's how she got a lot of us hooked in this bag over here. Okay, um, so I just don't like whenever, well, she doesn't have to do that. Yeah, we know that she doesn't have to do that, but let's not act like she's been just doing this. She's been doing more of this than this. Like, let's just be real. And so we're just like, girl, when are we going to get our turn to really get into our bag? Wait, because this is Nicki Minaj? I don't not really even need a singing Nicki Minaj every other month. In. You know what I mean? But I wanted to talk about the reality. Oh, maybe By the way, I ate. Me. I shouldn't ate it, but I ate an airhead. Oh. And my tooth, my 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 tongue is blue. Sorry, um, that was ghetto. I know. Um, I but anyway, way. so I think the reality is though, and we may have to come to terms with it. And I'm slowly processing it. Um, I think that the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, Uh-oh. we may have suddenly or gradually started to see the end of the bad bitch, wacky Roman Nikki. If you really look at that. it, she let Roman go. We've been begging for Roman. Roman comes in and out, but Roman's really locked up and on vacation. Red Ruby, she's a milder version. Chun Li, she kind of here, but not really. And so now we're getting this musical, theater, whimsical, creative, artsy, fartsy, in-tuned, really just kind of engulfed in the crowd <laughs> and really just feeling out every beat and morsel <laughs> and really enjoying the music as it lives through you. I cannot with him. And as it is used as a healing method to save the universe, if you will. It's a magical <laughs> movement. <laughs> It's the kind of feeling I feel like now with versus giving us girl smack these hoes up. You know what I'm saying? And we might have to just accept that Nikki is not in that bag no more. And she don't want to just outright tell us, but she's just going to tell us by doing whatever the f*** she wants to do. And it's going to be the exact opposite of what we've been begging for her to do. And then when she does it, she's going to give us like this much of it just to shut us up. But then she's going to go back to the sh once. Mm. And so I have two thoughts on that. As a creator, I totally feel her. And I get it. It's kind of like, girl, I'm ready to grow. I want to grow past that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be boxed in. I don't want to be held to that. If you guys follow me because of that, I understand. But I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm willing, I want you to grow with me. If you guys are not willing to grow with me, then go find somebody else. I understand that. But then as a fan, it's like, well, girl, I didn't come to you for singing. I didn't come to you for the idea, but I didn't. I need it from you because can't nobody do it like you do it. He's giving her compliments, though. So, so I don't want to give up because I need that. I need that. But if I have to look at it from my own perspective as a creator, I be wanting y'all to support me when I want to go different directions. Like when I don't want to just sit and talk about female rap and, you know, gossip. When I want to do music commentary or other music commentary or, or spiritual commentary. I be wanting y'all to support me, and sometimes y'all don't because you're like, "Well, that's not what we came to you for. We come to you guys. We come to you for the tea and the mess." And so I. But the thing with that is, yeah, you can't please everybody, and some people are gonna, you know, think like that. Like, I'm only here for the drama and you know the bullshit. I don't care what else you're going. I don't want to hear your music. <laughs> you know, people are doing that with me, of course. Like, people want to watch my reactions. They want to hear me discuss pop culture, but they might not be interested in vlogs in my personal life and whatever I got going on, which is totally fine. Like, there's an audience for everything. So, you know, that just 
comes with the the territory with any artist. So, you know, some people are gonna like certain things that you do, and they're not gonna like other things that you do. So that's what everybody has to encounter. So I don't think he's saying anything too crazy. I mean, I don't want to watch this whole video. It's 20 minutes. I want to hear what she has to say. <laughs> Maybe he says something crazier, but it doesn't seem like that's the the path that we're on. Like It wouldn't make sense for him to just come out of nowhere and start dragging her and being rude. He seems like he's, you know, just expressing how he feels about the song and about the type of music that she's been putting out lately. And that's his opinion. So I don't know why this would require you know, her to go in on him, but but yeah, let's hear what she has to say. Okay, this is the first part. It's there are two short that videos. You know the people are wanting something more than what you've been putting out. You know what I mean? Because you wouldn't have to keep explaining oh. what your process is. No, I was explaining it to you. My boss know the process. I was explaining it to you because you put out twelve songs and they've all flopped. Oh. And those twelve songs that you put out get on any hot 100 chart well no but that's when i will talk to you you know why you but wait do but you know, my, do you know why you're that's doing? not fair that's not fair at all obviously he has a much smaller platform you are nikki the minaj you've been in this industry for about 20 years at this point you have built up this big audience of course anything you put out is gonna go crazy you have a very dedicated fan base that took you decades to build. So you can't compare that to him. And you also can't be like, oh, well, once you, you know, get uh, platinum songs, then I'll listen to you. Like, no, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I don't agree with that response. I think you should be open minded to what your, you know, listeners have to say and how they're receiving your music and not just be like, well, y'all ain't got no platinum songs. So I listen to you hoes. <laughs> like, what? That's crazy. Do you know why you still doing uh TikTok? I mean, do you know why you still doing YouTube uh uh talk, talking on YouTube about Nicki Minaj? Because that's what I do. do you know because you are a celebrity. About Nicki Minaj after yes. seventeen years. Do you know why you still talking about Nicki Minaj? Yes. Because while you was putting out them wax up songs, <laughs> I was cleaning. I was cleaning. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's, so listen. You see, had you had a hit? Listen, Big Dipper should have been a hit, but it wasn't because that second verse, verse with was trash. You know that. See, we gotta, you gotta stick to it. If we want to talk about it, oh, Big no. Dipper was I'm, supposed I'm to really go. Thank you, thank you. No, I'm glad you did this. I'm, no, I'm, no, glad, I'm glad, you glad you did this. I'm glad you did this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So now you can really go in? This Gumby app. Just got one here talking about what could have should have been a hit. Sweetheart, do you know how many plaques I have from Pink Friday 2? Do you? Okay, let's go to part two. Okay, this is part two. I'm glad you did this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this Gumby ass nigga. Just and she got muted one him. Here talking about what could have should have been a hit. Sweetheart. Do you know how many plaques I have from Pink Friday 2? Do you know, you dumb motherfucker, oh. how many how many platinum plaques Pink Friday 2 has? Oh. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. I don't. Wait, uh um keys. Keys. I need I need a, one of my barbs that keep all the data, you know, because we don't hide our data. Um, we need to let this dumb motherfucker know. Oh, how many songs on Pink Friday two are double platinum, platinum or or gold? Wait, what made her get on Spaces with him or whatever this is? What? Cause she going in on this man, call him out his name. <laughs> You know, this is his music. I, I assume that they knew each other to some degree because I'm like, why else would she get on, you know, live with him? But the way she's talking about him, it ain't sounding like she can fuck about him at all. So maybe they don't have a relationship. I don't know what's happening. Let, let's let him know. But why even and talk so, to him? And the album hasn't been out for a year. Highest selling for this year and it came out last year. Hi what does that have to do with the quality of the music, though? If that's his opinion, that that's how he feels about it and he's not really into the sound that's how he feels about it 
listing off your accomplishments and how much the album sold and how many plaques you have, that doesn't automatically make the music good. There are many artists who sell like crazy, like Taylor Swift, <laughs> and the music is, is not that great. You know, and obviously it's subjective if the music is great or not. But the point is, that's not that's not the only uh, measure that should be used. Is though, well, it sold this and I got plaques. So what you mean? It's like, I mean, congratulations. But <laughs> we're talking about my opinion about this song, and this is my this is my thoughts about about the song. I don't like it. It's selling for last year and it came out last year. Motherfucker, don't play with me. But maybe she's responded to him talking about Big Difference. I don't know why he brought that up. Like, oh, it wasn't a hit. Because maybe she's responded to that. But she's like, oh, I'm so glad. She was waiting. She was itching to talk about her plaques <laughs> and her accomplishments that she loves to list off. So, you know, there's that. She does this all the time. No motherfucking nothing. I I, I fucking out, out, out tried every out uh out tried every motherfucking song on a whole fucking project, nigga. Stay in your motherfucking <laughs> place, bitch. Oh. Who the fuck you think you talking to, nigga? Who the fuck you think you talking to, nigga? I can't. That's why you still on YouTube, nigga. Don't do that. Cause a Minaj. You ain't you ain't, you ain't got shit else to motherfucking talk about. So since you brought that up, Ooh, let's talk about all types. Let's of let's get into it. Do you know how, how, um, how, the, do you know the sales of Fuck the Club Up? Do he should have stayed on topic. Fuck the Club he shouldn't up? have brought that up. A song with no video. Do you know the so the sales of Everybody featuring Little Uzi? You can't even spell it. Ooh. You sure can't write one. Ooh. Do you know the sales of Red Fucking Ruby? A song that I did a video to in a fucking backyard. Backyard. Oh, I would have hung up if I was Armand. Uh -huh. like, oh, you're not about to. <laughs> you're not about to read me like this. Do you know the sales of Super Freaky Girl debuted number one on the Hot 100 after I think 18 years or something like that? Do you know the sales of that song, Dum Dum? Not Dum Dum. Damn. So now, since you since you want that so bad, I'm going to let you wait and beg, bitch. You ain't getting shit, nigga. Sorry. <laughs> you know what fucking time it is. You know so what? because he made you mad, then everybody has to suffer? Come on. So since you want this type of nigga, I ain't, I ain't giving it to nobody. Like, girl... Motherfucking time he don't speak for everybody. Mold. You bitch ass nigga. Oh wait. Fucking time it is you paid motherfucking mole. You bitch ass nigga. She come a paid mole. Fuck you think you talking to bitch? Oh my god. No, do, do, does he know that? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I was not expecting her to cuss this man out like this. Call him all type of bitches and all type of shit. This is what I would expect from Cardi. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting her to go in. But to be fair, I don't listen to Nicki Minaj's rants and stuff on like Spaces and Radiohead or whatever she be on. So I didn't know that she be she be doing this. But child, I would have been hung up <laughs> if I was her mom. I'm not sitting there. And she had him on mute. You could see the little icon. Like, so he can't even defend himself at that point. I'm not about to just sit here and let you drag me and curse me out. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here listening as you, you know, call me out my name. Like, Jesus, let me know if I missed something because I did not watch his entire video. Let me know if it got more disrespectful. But I just don't think that was warranted. I don't think she needs to come at him that hard. Jesus, he's just giving his opinion. I feel like it was pretty fair. Like, I don't, I feel like he was giving, you know, valid reasons of, of you know, why he feels that way. Um, and he was trying to, you know, give her compliments when, when you know, it, it made sense. <laughs> but it's like, sheesh. I don't know why she even wanted to hop on live with him to talk about this. If... If you know he gives his opinion and then you curse him out, why even get on live with him in the first place? But this was this was wild. This was wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.